Also, it's of course Mother's Day and plenty of you have probably bought or ordered or received the most popular gifts on this day, which is flowers. According to the National Retail Federation, Americans spent $3.2 billion on flowers and plants for Mother's Day last year. So our Don White takes us inside one very busy flower shop in Tarrant County. I did get some good ones before it got too crazy. When the I inside of Colleyville Florist is a bit of controlled chaos for owner Rachel Williams. Pretty tired. <laughs> As a solo designer, I've done all of those 150 orders myself. Yeah, a few of those will work. She's getting a little help making Mother's Day magic from her own mom, Teresa. Mother's Day, I typically start my prep work usually March or April. I really also <laughs> like the buttery yellow ones. She says it's all worth it. I did loops of like pink and white gingham. Helping people customize a floral arrangement for the woman who's given them so much. I love that people trust us to help them celebrate their moms. I know that it's a really important moment. Once the floral arrangements are done, they go on this shelf. And then they go out the door and on the road, bringing smiles and joy to moms on their special day. Ritmore is delivering love to moms all week. Yesterday, we did quite a few deliveries and uh, lots of smiles, lots of happy moms. Rip believes he has the best job bringing surprises and smiles throughout his route. Good morning, how are you? It's awesome. Delivering flowers to moms? You can't beat that. With each stop, Rit learns it's not just colorful flowers he delivers but sharing gratitude with moms like Winnie Wayne. Oh, this is so sweet. I wasn't so surprised about flowers. I was real surprised about the camera. <laughs> the mom of three sons says the thought behind her gift is what means so much. I'm just so lucky that my, my boys remember me, and I hope everybody remembers their mom. It's really important. It's a Mother's Day tradition on the road and touching the hearts of those who gave us life. In Tarrant County, Dawn White, CBS News, Texas.